Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Your Tech Today. I have a new product here. I ordered it from banggood.com and this is a Mantis Tech USB power meter. So if you have seen my videos before, you know I use this power meter. And this goes only up to 10 volts. So for the latest generation phones which have Qualcomm uh, Quick Charge 3.0, they can charge it up to 12 volts. So it was really difficult to monitor those devices with this one. So up to 9 volts, it was working fine. Like I used to check my Galaxy Note 4 and my S7 Edge also charges at 9 volts. So for those devices, this was pretty good. But uh, let's take a look at this one. So I don't remember the exact price, but I'll leave a link in the description where you can get it. It took about 20 days to get to me by normal post, which was with tracking number. So the device is inside, this is what it looks like, so white tail is the model, input is 3.5 to 15 volts, so 20 milliamps to 3500 milliamps, so 3.5 amps it can, you know, input and also output 3 to 15 volts, so capacity and also one more good thing about this is that it actually has an inbuilt, uh, you know, IC which supports the fast charging, uh, you know, standard so it can you know you can monitor your fast charging and all that so it has two usb ports only the top one is fast charging compatible as far as what research i have done anyways we'll have a look at that so this is some of the documentation input voltage again 4 to 15 and you can pause the video and read it if you would like to so this is the for charging contains CW302D chip, universal fast charging adapter features. USB 2 port, uh, data transmission charging, uh, micro USB port for input use. So USB 1. So this is USB 1. And this is USB 2. So USB 2 also supports data transmission. And this one doesn't, I guess. Also, it supports uh, up to nine memories, so you can store, uh, you know, uh, how much current was used and all that in the memory of the device. It does switch off the display after some time, and you have to press this button to switch on the display. Five minutes is the timing for that. So, if the current is above 3.1 amps, it will uh, give a buzzer, and if uh, the current is over 3.5 amps, the USB port will automatically shut down to protect the device. So, let's keep this aside and see what the product looks like so i have a samsung fast charger here which i am outputting through this black usb cable so it has these two usb ports and a micro usb also for input or you can input directly you can attach it to the charger over there through this also but i'm going to use the micro usb cable so when you do that it immediately switches on and shows you the five volts and the current being used, obviously nothing is connected, it's 0 amps. So these are the memories, the 8, the 9, you can go through them like this. And let's connect something which uses fast charging. So I have my S7 Edge. So let's connect it to the USB 1 port which they say supports universal fast charging. And I'm going to keep my phone here. By the way, if you like this case, I've done a video on it. You can check it out. Let's reset the memory. So the phone is supposed to get fast charged, but it's only getting 5 volts, 1.2 amps. Let's connect it to the USB 2 port and see. So I think in the manual they have reversed it because the USB 2 port over here is supporting the fast charging. So as you can see it is at 8.8886 volts and at 700 milliamps because the phone is almost fully charged so it's not using much of a current to charge the phone so you can see that uh, milliampere rating is also started so once you discharge your phone fully you can use this device to see how much current has been pushed into the battery and you can sort of get an idea whether your battery is performing properly or not or is it getting charged fully or not so that's a good thing and the second port is only for normal charging at 5 volts and uh, I guess 
that's it. I mean, it's a handy little device. Pretty useful for my use. It's not that expensive also. I think five or six dollars was what I had to pay. And I would have paid through PayPal. So thanks for watching this video guys. I hope you liked it. And uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. I'll try to answer it as soon as possible. And if you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you have any suggestion, leave it in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.